Okay. After the recording, so we can start now. Um, I'll be waiting for him to come in. So, um, welcome everyone. Um, let me share the doc. so that everyone can have access and then um, you can put in your name then there's a question there that um, you can also fill in so let me share my screen All right, so can you see my screen now, everyone? Yeah. Hello, Hinoak, welcome. Hi. It's good to see you here. Sure, good to see you too. Thanks for the efforts here. <laughs> what did you say? I was saying thanks for the efforts here. Oh, thank you. Thank you for acknowledging that. Okay, so we were um, actually putting down our names. Where, are you? And... Where is the link to the document? Okay. Um, you actually have it though <laughs> but I'll, I'll share again yeah i mean which or which or, okay okay um do we have any newcomers um i, I don't want to assume um and then again, I can't really see what's going on on Google Meet. So, you know, Codesmond, you'll have to help me here. Did anyone raise their hands? Nope. Nope. Okay. So, I don't think there is any. All right, cool. So we have returning members. All right, let's quickly move. Um, no new members. All right, so uh, let me just quickly give updates on the developers focus group what's been happening um, so far since we last um, had a meeting so we kind of rescheduled our meeting date so that we can have more developers on this on the call and i am not sure this is working because <laughs> right now we even have less people on the call so and um on the slack channel we had a lot of people vote for this hour so i'm not sure what the problem is but then i am um, you know before you joined i was talking to desmond and the others that uh, there was a mix-up with the timing and um, the only time slot left for today is um, 6 p.m what and what do they think about it and um, all of them said they are okay with the time I'm sure you are going to say yes to that you are okay. Are you there? Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Uh I was trying to speak and my mic was muted. Yeah, we can hear you so well. Oh, okay. So. Okay, so I was putting out a question to you. I was, uh, my mind was in the document. I was trying to write my name. What was that? <laughs> I was saying that. I was um, trying to write my name. I'm trying to readdress mm -hmm. the meeting time. And um, I was trying to I'm... tell people that um, there is a mix-up and that the only time slot left is 6 p.m. And there, most people on the call, when I was asking, um, were 
saying that they were okay with 6 p.m. If they're okay with it, I'm really fine because um, I'm sure we may need to recall these meetings for future reference in case there is something someone wants to look into. Mm -hmm. And uh, like the reason I told you is um, this, um, like up in the document, there are connection details of the Zoom account we're supposed to use, which is in use right now. So we cannot have um, our meeting. We can have our meeting, but if we want to record the meeting, we need to shift it one hour later when uh, uh -huh. the Zoom link is uh -huh. um, if you are fine with moving it, then yeah, we can do that. We just hope so. Okay, so I have new people on the call just joined. Um, please, could you give me a reaction if you're okay with us having it at 6 p.m. on Wednesday? Um, you know, please let me look out for a reaction because I'm, I'm not able to see it with my um, screen share home. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I am, I am. I think there, there is only one reaction so far. Okay, um, that will be from who? Um, from um, Chidalu. Okay, Chidalu. Hi, Chidalu. Welcome. Um, I think I saw Precious just Hi. now. Hi. Um, Precious, are you okay with six p.m. on Wednesdays? Yeah, that works. Oh, okay. Is there any other person on the call that I I I didn't take note of? Okay. All right. So also we've started um our agenda minutes and um there will also be recording. So presently I'm trying to record. <laughs> I just hope that um it stays okay till the end of the meeting. But like um. Enoch said it would be better for us to use the Zoom uh, to use Zoom meetings so that we can properly record without any fear of any problem and then be able to get it on our YouTube channel. Okay, so um, is there any other updates? Yes, there are other updates for the developers for course group. So um, presently um, there is a team of project managers that came up um, for the entire chaos community so as to structure our project the various projects happening in chaos so as to structure them more and then make sure that there is progress happening across all the projects so for the ones concerning us which are the development project um, some people were selected as pms and tech leads actually it's a volunteer position not appointed people volunteered for it so um enoch is the tech lead for the development team i'll be acting as the pm and then pm for the budget board um precious abubaka is for the um the tech lead for the slack bot and the uh, does um she, i'm not sure she's on the call she has volunteered to be a pm for the slack bot then for the badging website Enoch and kinsley kinsley is the technical lead Enoch is the knowledge lead and um, um chidalu has volunteered to be the pm for the badging website and so um the reason why i'm saying all this so that um if you have any questions and issues relating to any of this mini project, you can actually approach them and um, reach out to them to, to tell them whatever it is and ask your questions. So um, another thing is that um, we had the demo session for the badging bot on how to um, set up the badging bot on your local development environment. Because right now the, the the bot script that is meant to automate that process is not working on um, all operating systems and so um, while we wait for that to be up and running then um, there's a, another way an alternative to get that running so uh, this model was kind enough to take us through a demo session and um, we have pinned the videos on our slack channel so please if you really want to contribute to the budget board you can um, check it and then um, currently we are also working on the tutorial document which will be translated by the angola community 
uh, and will also uh, be up and running also so if you prefer a technical document more than the video that will also be an option for it so uh, that would be for the developers group uh, Enoch please do you, would you want to say anything with regards to this It might be that's it. In okay, I'm muted. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, uh, I was asking where we are right now. Are we still on the developer focus group updates or we're like um, on the badging board and board script updates because um there's a lot of information you've talked about and it's like covering everything from up there to down here so i'm wondering where oh, I should okay be. sorry please start from the developers focus group if you have any new information apart from the one i've started so I've, i i wasn't aware I've, I've moved on to the budget part of it sorry about that yeah of course even uh, um but i think um uh, the only thing i would want to know is one um there is a, there is a, there is a meeting in the google calendar that uh, i think uh, there is a meeting in the google calendar that is for project managers is it one of the meetings that um the project managers should be attending yes i think it happens uh, by when it happens uh, by weekly On no monday. every monday mm -hmm. At, um, so that's the meeting. Two p.m. Meeting. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So in that meeting, is it um, the meeting that combines even us and the other larger um, chaos community from the other places? From what, the other projects, exactly. So all the project managers, oh. and um, and or I would say and or because for now it's just a meeting for the project managers, but. Probably if the tech leads and the knowledge leads also attend, they would be uh, more aware of the progress that is going on, you know, kind of being in sync. I, I, I would think so, but I don't think it's a must as long as the PM and the tech lead are always in communication with one another. Okay um so I, I i i hope i hope that um the people that uh yeah of course i'm in that document and i can see like um um people's names everywhere i'm just hoping that um the people that have been listed here one have access to the resources they should access mostly um the repositories plus maybe the necessary rights and then two like we had talked with you earlier that um if people know the direction of where these whole projects are headed to it is good um for them to make um decisions on to pull requests um, what issues to create and uh, what issues to accept mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. things like that connected to um Next, the whole contribution of the project. So, like, um, if there is a project manager here on the call or who has been selected for a particular thing, I hope um, they mostly spend their time trying to understand one, the main objective of the project, and also where the project is headed to, because um, that is good for them um, leading out better in the project. So, about that, I, I think it's good and. Um, I can see that um, it's um, it's something that, like I already said, that will um, help to minimize the concentration and um, and the focus <coughs> onto one person, just in case they are not available or to deliver, uh, depending on the on the available demands. So I I am happy that um, something like that is coming up, and it is um, it is. Um, it is so good and I mean support. So I think also Mondays I will make sure it's something I saw, but I wasn't sure who should be attending. But I'm, on Mondays I'll make sure I am 
in attendance so that we can address more of those things of, of uh, those issues with the project managers who may be in attendance by then. Mm, nice. Thank yeah. you. Okay. Um, so I, I think I, I was given um, updates on the budget and uh, I think I should just finish yeah. up on that. Uh, so there are needs for some features. I think I was in discussion with them, um, Hinoch and also Elizabeth, because El Elizabeth um, leads the budget review team, I think. Yeah. And she's the lead reviewer. So I reached out to her to also inquire about what are the features that she would like to see in the budget board to help improve the budget review process. And uh, she was able to uh, tell me some things which she even said she had already discussed with Enoch. So I would um, be talking about it right here so that um, other developers can be aware um, I think it would be good for us to create issues around it, but I would also like the opinion of other people on the call. So it's, it's not just us talking. So um, for now, let me just quickly run through. For instance, uh, we, we will need um, Slackbot automation that pings um, reviewers to alert them that they, are, uh, they have been um, selected to review a particular event so um i think that issue has been created on on uh, on on the repo on the budget board repo i don't know if there's anyone on the call who might be interested in contributing to that yeah and there are a couple of other open issues mm -hmm. currently i can't tell issues are still valid and which are not but then like um, we got people for our website. Who are those? Is it? Um, sorry, there no. Oh, yeah, budget website. That is um Kingsley and um Chidalu. Mm -hmm. Um, I think um, it will be good if they meet up and try to sort out these issues to see which ones are still relevant or the state at which the whole project is at so that um, they determine whether an issue is still worth solving or could even be that um, an issue is duplicated somewhere. So um, for those who want to see to know what issues I'm looking at, um, maybe I can also put that in the document that we are all seeing. Oh, sorry, I sent a wrong, a, a wrong link. Okay, so, so are you speaking to the budget board now or the budget website? Sorry, the budging boat here, yeah, but I sent a wrong link. <laughs> um, yeah, this is the link. So I was saying, um, I was focusing on something different. Like um, it's important for the project managers, uh, that is you and maybe Peculiar, 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 I don't know, to, to, to go through um, the list of those issues that are on both projects so that um, they can easily determine which ones are stale or which ones are still worth working on or which ones are even duplicated because um, you'd find that um, it's maybe now not necessary to solve some issues or um, you'd find that some issues are more important than the others and mm -hmm. they could be addressed in uh, these meetings to, to, to give them more attention so that um, you People who would love on, who would love to work on them, can um, mm -hmm. can jump on them. Uh, I think. Let me add that link. Here. Okay, I think I think that um, uh, let me just replicate that for all the mini projects, so we don't. Uh, I don't need to jump ahead and then begin to mention all of the projects right now. Yeah, and I think. Also, the project managers that were chosen for these particular projects, um, if it doesn't hurt both of you or even with the tech lead, you can um, you can um, meet up in, your, in in the convenient times and then mm -hmm. go through the project and see and try to do some housekeeping. Mm -hmm. Could be in one meeting or the other because I see um, every project, at least um, for those that are complete, there is a 
there are two project managers and a tech lead. So I think if it's good, the three or four plus the knowledge lead could meet for a particular project to just uh -huh. um, do some house the whole project. Uh -huh. Yeah, and that goes across to Aga, Prima Lab, um, the design team, the development app. I, I mean like every every project. Okay. So I think um, since this speaks to every of the many projects, let's, let me just put it on um, action items. Let me put it under action items. Um, so that um, it speaks to everyone. Yeah. And I think for me, for the groups that I lead, I. Maybe I should even get in touch now and um, we see what when to create time so that we can uh, iron out some of those things, like do the housekeeping mm -hmm. before the next meeting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then after then um, after then we can then bring issues out to people for developers to contribute. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there could be issues right now, but I think um, since even the maintainers are new, it would be good if they meet with the tech lead or with the knowledge base lead mm -hmm. um, in a separate call. I understand. Yeah, and um, they, they can share ideas like robustly on every project, um, what things are still um, necessary. On. Okay, so... All right, then that's it for the budget board. Now, um, watch a call, please. Are you on the call? I saw him, yeah. He's here, He's, right? Yeah, I'm on the call. I hope I didn't call this fight. Good evening, everyone. Excuse me from this part of the world. Yeah, thank you. Could you please give us updates on the bot script? Yeah, so um, sorry I've not stopped much since then. Uh, we just have pull request that you open. And um, please, in case you can't hear me, just let me know. So basically, I've, I've not gotten that pull request match. And um, that pull request was meant to handle the automation for that of Linux. So basically, um, mostly installing NPM and Node, which is heavily depend which the boss click heavily depends on. So I don't know if you want me to show that or uh, maybe something else. Okay, so what I know about that currently is um, th there is an issue that is not making the bot script run even for the Linux operating system, right? Yes, yes, that was okay. an issue. So I think I will direct that so, to Hinoch. Enough. There is a particular issue that I reviewed. I'm just not sure. No, not an issue, a pull request that I reviewed. I am just not sure which one it was. And I think I made also a comment on it. And I can't see it here because the last issue that... Um, oh, okay, okay, okay. I can see it. Um... Wow, I remember I remember I started a review on a particular issue. Is it this one that I don't know whether that's that issue? Is that a pull request? Yeah, this is a PRO. A PRO that's the one that's the one you're yes, talking about. Yes, yes, yes. This is what I'm talking about. Yeah, I pinned the version of the Node.js and I removed the NPM version. I think Node.js went with the NPM. So that was the cause of the conflict. Yeah. Yeah, I remember I I went through this issue. I really don't remember what stopped me from merging it because I remember I went through it. And, um, and, um, Oh my, I can't tell what the issue was because now I can't remember clearly, but 
I went through that, that issue and I didn't merge it for a reason that I don't remember. That I don't remember now. But um, um there was one issue that was uh that was uh, so pressing that needed attention because we are going to have contributions and 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 the issue and the issue that is still uh, there is an issue that I'm going to put here. So there was there is a concern that I think needs um, needs um, very fast action, and the concern is us creating a test workflow for the contributions because I was thinking we are we're going to create some Docker images that can help us to to test out these changes and I think that was the reason as to why I didn't make the merging because I was still I was still waiting for Faith's contribution who actually I don't think she's still active um, to create some CI and CD tests because um, it's not good to just do merging into the main branch without tests but I think that's one of the things that should be given attention to in the next um, meeting, maybe with the project managers and the tech lead, so that um, we can focus on how we deal away with that and create tests for every um, change that we have. Because in the end, when we try to merge, um, when we try to make changes to the script without testing it, we could not be sure of whether that is going to pass on different machines. And I'm thinking that uh, the test would be so robust to not only check on um, Linux, Windows, or Mac, but also check the different versions. Like if it's Linux, it would check on Ubuntu, Debian, and maybe and maybe Fedora. And um, if it's on um, Windows, it could have the, 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 the ability to check on a Windows 11 or 10, if there are those that still use 8 or 8. So, I think the reason as to why I didn't make the merge was there was no test for it and I couldn't ascertain whether it would work or not because okay. it wasn't tested. I so to do that. we're supposed to carry out the test? It should be an automation that should be a contribution and the issue for that was created. So, so, so there should be a contribution for someone to develop a test for those particular platforms. Like it's an automated um, test that should be created. Faith was working on that, but I think um she 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 lost track or morale in the in the long run. So it's one of the things we can also discuss, like in one of those meetings that um I'm suggesting the project managers have with the tech leads, and I think I'll also suggest it on Monday when we meet for the other project managers meeting. Okay, do you think we should reopen the issue? Okay, so this is what I think we should The issue is open. The it's still open. open. Okay, so I'll try to reach out yeah. to Faith to um, know where she's at on this and then we can then see if she's not no longer available for the program project. Maybe somebody else can take it up. There is a hand. Yes, please. Who, who wants to go? Okay, yeah, so I just wanted to ask, like, what's the process? If someone is already working on an issue, like mm. this one, mm -hmm. and you're interested in it, like, how does that work? So that's what I'm saying, that I'm going to reach out to her to know if she's still actively um, working on it, what the blocker is, and how we can resolve it. So if um, it, a, a reply will depend on when whether we want to um, reassign someone else or wait for her to like uh, finish the contribution okay um sorry i i can i note who just asked the question so that i could reach out in case um it's still open it's on you. Oh, yeah. yes okay thank you mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I think that's it now for the bot script. Um, let's go to the Slack bot because um, time is running. Precious, you are hope nest.
Hai. Hai. Uh, sorry, what do you want me to say? Okay, so this is where we are hard. We have developers on the call who might not really know what's going on with the Slack bot. So we want to know where you are at on the project, the help you need, the progress you are making, the help you need, challenges you are facing that someone could actually work with you on. Right. Okay. Um. There isn't much going on actively there right now. We do have a couple of open issues. Um. One is a documentation improvement that Specula is working on. She just started working on that. And then there's also the um. There's one open issue that. It's not assigned to anybody yet. Okay. It's like a feature, a new feature that someone suggested. So we need someone to work on that. I will just um, let me share the link. And then there's one that has been there for a while. I think this one is working on it. I don't know if he's still working on it. So I'll have to find out because I think that's one is on the call. I think he's on the call. Desmond, can you speak to this? So, I think last year. Sorry, we can't hear you clearly. Oh, I can't hear you clearly. Sorry, I didn't get that. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I told you, like, um, for the past week, I've not been to work. So, I haven't, like, done anything on the issue yet. So. Oh, okay. So it's not that there's a blocker or anything. Oh, no, no. Okay, that's fine. Sorry, what's the feature about? Um, I think is a to send like Slack notification to um, send reminders to yeah, remind events. Okay. So if if um Chaos Africa admit them um, by this time. Is sent to that particular channel a reminder for their meeting. So if it's um, probably um, a, another work group, it's sent to that particular lab channel. So channels, so right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So wh when do you think you are going to deliver that? Mm, I, I, I don't know, but I'll, I'll, let me give myself like next week. Okay. Like, let me give myself. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, Precious, any other thing that you would like to say? Are there new features that you would like to say that you need help on? Um, there's just that one open issue that needs someone to work on it. Um, it's a feature for... Okay, sorry, not this one. For, okay, someone suggested that we should add a list of recommendations for channels, the channels that um, a newcomer, like a new member of the community can join. So someone suggested we add that to the, that initial welcome message that got sent to a new community member. To the new B channel, right? Not to the newbie channel, to the person's DM. Okay. So I'm just going to drop a link to that issue. Okay, please, could you also drop it on the um, document? So in case anybody is looking at it. Okay. Let me do that. But that's all. That's just... Oh, here you go. Okay. Yeah. All right, so um, this let's move on to the next one, badging website. Actually, there is a need for information in this area. I'm not really sure um, people know a lot about this. Um, Chidalu, are you on the call? Yes, I am, but uh, my ogre at the top said is going to be the one to handle okay, it. So. Okay, okay. All right, okay. <laughs> he knows. Have a go at it. 
She never likes using big titles. <laughs> Don't mind her. She's known for that. You must be submissive. <laughs> <laughs> um. So um. She she reached out to me earlier and was asking about some updates, and I told her it doesn't um. If there are no updates that she has about it, she can leave it um to to me, and then we can sync up later. But I think. Um, the budging website has stalled since last year in um, the end of December, and uh, it was mostly because we lost track along the way. It was one of the projects that we had put up, and it was actually one at that time, and I think that's why people were so much contributing to it. But after December, when we went for a recess on coming back, people, some people who were contributing to issues had gone, and even us who are leading that project, I remember me, Ruth, and some other two people that I don't recall, we had jumped onto other projects that were more demanding. And since there were no contributors for the budging website, um, some of the things were kind of just left there. But I, I think like after I've said that um, when we meet up with project managers and um, also leads who are responsible for those projects, it's going to be good for us to establish how to revive some projects or how to how do some housekeeping on projects now like the budging website which is really not complete but also it's still open to development and kingsley was um had um, done almost every needed um ui design of that the only thing that we need to do is um to now that um we're streamlining things to awaken all that contribution thing so um it's a project that's still active, but um, lacking um, lacking um, priority or lacking um, concentration. Yeah, the designs are all there. Like the design is all done. It's only the implementers who, the implementers I should say they are not lost, but whoever was managing, me and Ruth who were managing that um, project actively. So, um, what we're going to do is um let's let's for me i have i have um i have vowed that for the projects i'm leading i'm going to reach out to the project managers for those particular projects so that we have separate calls at least an hour for every project and we do the cleaning and then we set up like new issues or know where we are at the moment and then know at least by the next meeting um that a particular project is clean and ready every issue that you see that's open mm -hmm. has been has been vetted on and we're mm -hmm. good to go so please welcome for for any contributions mm -hmm. yeah but it is something i would also love to get done with um Is good to hear. So yeah, that's 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 not it about the budget website. For those who want to see the the designs, I'm not sure whether I can retrieve that link, but um if you go to the to the dev, I think I don't know where that link is, but I'm sure Kingsley could um help us easily retrieve that. But um the website design is ready, and even we had almost implemented 60% of that. And the 40% um, just got lost in between there because of poor coordination. Hmm. So hopefully next next, next meeting, um, most of these um, things will have at least um, direction after we've met with um, the project managers. Okay, cool. So are there other um, development projects that I have not taken into account here, Hinoch? that you would like to speak about the projects that we've not taken into account mm -hmm. um i'm trying to look through okay i think there is none the others are for agar and grimo lab um which is mostly outside of chaos mm -hmm. but um mostly outside of um, chaos africa mm -hmm. but i am hoping also, I am working out with one of um, the maintainers of Chaos. Mm -hmm. um, he's called John, so that um, we streamline with Sean. Sean is a little bit hard to get, mm -hmm. but 
I'm working with John, whom I think is going to be a very fast uh, contact so that we can also see how to streamline Agar and uh, Grimo Lab to welcome contributors. Um, um, I think it will be a good, it's really a huge, there are two huge projects. They're not like these, um, the bots and the website that we mm -hmm. listed here, mm -hmm. and they really tackle mostly Python and uh, JavaScript. And I'm going to meet John today later in the night and see um, how best we can um, we can streamline the process of contributing to Aga and Grimo Lab. So it may take a while, but it's something I'm working on actively because I want to introduce also those projects to other developers who want to contribute because they really have work to do. Uh -huh. Are you there? Um, can you guys hear me? I can hear you. Oh, so Enoch is um, kind of having an issue with his connection. Okay. All right, so while we wait for him, um, please, who would like to facilitate next week? So um, I think we would want to make this more dynamic so that it won't be me all the time. <laughs> What's my name? Thank you. Who? Oh, it's Dazu. It's Dazu. It must be you now. It must be you. Know, you. you know, you know, you know, you know <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah now. Thank you. Okay, I think I would also <laughs> love a note taker. Um, I'm sure I'm not, I wasn't, um, I wasn't, um, I don't think I captured everything. I, I was so happy when the Precious uh, added some stuff to this board update. Okay, so who would want to be our note taker? Let me just note that down. Yeah, now. Precious, would you volunteer? <laughs> uh, no. No. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So okay, we'll find someone. Um. Also, there is another thing. Uh, for those who joined after we had this discussion, we were talking about how there was a mix-up with the time. You know, uh, we initially shared this call for five o'clock, but to be on the Zoom. Um. Me, uh, to be a Zoom meeting instead of a Google Meet so that we can have a recording and be able to upload it on our YouTube channel. But um, there is a clash with another meeting, so it was shifted to 6 o'clock. So I want to confirm if there are people who had not indicated earlier to, to let me know if they are okay with our meeting being 6 o'clock on Wednesdays. Um, what you could, did you give a yes already? Okay, I think we don't yeah, have. Yeah, I, I did. And I saw that people get a lot of talking about what we have meant to talk about. So, but I think TPM works fine by me. TPM okay, the then there's another per Okay, thank you. There's another person, Jude. Does it work for you too? You could put it in the chat session if you don't want to talk. All right, see you, Precious. Thank you. All right, cool. So, um, Hinok is going. Okay, I think it's on. It's already on the calendar for six. All right. So, um, welcome back, Hinok. <laughs> Sorry, you were gone for some time. You're muted. Yeah, so, someone was um, calling on my okay. phone. So. Okay. I lost them. Yeah. All right. So we're talking yeah, um, about um, yeah. new projects that were not accounted for here. I wanted to ask about the project back gen. I know it's not officially yet out, but it is something that we are likely to include in our meeting here later on in the future. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, next week, next week project budging um, would probably be out for public contribution, and um, we were meeting earlier with the developers who are working on it, and yeah, there is progress in that. And um, for those of you who don't know what project budging is, it's like um, another project by Chaos, the mm -hmm. budging team that is um, going to be budging um, events sorry, um, projects. So there is event budging and then there is going to be project budging. And um, for those of you who want to know how it looks like, right now it's still in um, development stages, but um, the team is almost done. I'm just putting a budging So if you go to that link, oh, why isn't that showing as a link? So probably in next week or next week, but one will have this um, out for the whole community to contribute to. And it will be a good project to contribute to because it's well organized and um, people put time into making sure that everything is lined up. So um, be sure to like um, at least Look out for have it. deal with that project. Okay, so um, uh, who are, who are I want to ask uh, who are the kind of uh, de developers you're looking for? Will backend developers be able to contribute or just um, designers and front-end um, um, developers? The, 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 the design, the design, the design, most nothing, mostly on the design is done. And okay. It will be only the back and the front-end developers who may be needed for added features. Currently, um, they were only polishing up the MVP. Okay. Um, and I think after that, um, there are some other things we want to add in, but um, they are beyond the scope of the MVP. So those will be up to the public to contribute in. There is also a collaboration with GitLab and um, Chaos to make sure that um, we also incorporate them into the whole project budging um, implementation. Uh -huh. uh, for those of you who want to know, I'm not sure whether those um, things are always mentioned, but there is a meeting that happens that happens an hour earlier than this one uh, in the DEI, and um, that's where these conversations happen mostly. There are other several meetings, but they are mostly in-house, but the public meeting where this is always mentioned is in the diversity, equity, and inclusion working group, which is an hour earlier than this for uh -huh. now. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. so that's um, 4 p.m. what? On, on Wednesday? Uh, yeah, I think, depending on your time. Yeah, the, that's why I said West African time. So okay. you know how to adjust it to your time zone. Um, very quickly, because we'll soon be cut out of this call. Um, I was asking if um, backend developers too would be uh, needed on the project or it's just purely front end. Yeah, no, back end and front end. Um, this project has a back end on it. Okay, is it written in what what language is it written in? What's the stack? Um uh, so far it um it has two. We're using an API to connect um to connect um the API. Sorry, um we're using an API to connect agar and um I should call it um like a custom implementation that we made in Node okay. and we're connecting it to Agar. Okay. Yeah, so it's a combination of two. Okay, okay, nice one. So look forward to it, developers, and let's see how we can make our contributions. Um, is there any other thing yeah. um, anyone would like to say before we round up the meeting? Anything, anyone? There is, is there none. anything is there anything on the chat session okay all right so if there is anything that you maybe after this meeting you can always go to the slack channel for dev african devs and then um, just raise your questions or your suggestions and all that thank you everyone for attending this call and we hope to see each other one another next week at 6 p.m west african time Thank you very much, everyone. Bye. No one is saying bye back. <laughs> yeah.
<laughs> okay, bye everyone. Mm -hmm.